guys, it is Jacob here today, and I'm going to be showing you a mock that I have been working on for the past one or two days. Um, so, as you guys know, a couple hours ago, I made a video on an updating uh, house mock. It's a house that I've been working on for about a month already, and you know, it's still in progress. Uh, and there was a two-car garage in that house, and I had two cars. A Lego sports car from Alexander Studios, which I'll review in a couple days or maybe a couple hours. And this car. My friends, this is Lego Jeep. Now, before we get onto it, let me apologize that there are some colors that do not match. And if you guys hear laughter and talking in the background, that, that is my parents and my siblings. So, yeah. So, that's about it. Uh, I have my... Lego Jeep here. It's in full on blue. The reason why this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, builds that I've ever made is because it's a car that my family loves. This is one of my family's dream cars that we want. We are thinking about buying a Jeep when we sell our boat because we live in Florida and um, we really don't use the boat that often anymore. Since we have the beach, uh, there's no really point of going on a boat if we have the beach because well, in our old play, in our old state that we used to live, uh, if you wanted to get to the beach, you had to get on a boat, and so that's the story behind this model. It's because of the simple thing where my dad wants a jeep because we can't because there's no point of uh, driving on a or boating anymore. So let's get into this model. This model is packed with a ton of cool and interesting features. Um, let me do note that this is, I think, 17 studs long, so it is odd number, but it is six studs wide. It can hold four people, and it can, it has many features. Uh, one of the features are that it has removable hard top. Yes. Or soft top, actually, because it's not hard. Um, so this is very realistic to the Lego Jeeps, uh, or the real Jeeps that are created. Uh, uh, not the normal Jeeps with the hard top. I'm talking about the ones with the soft top. My dad specifically wants it in this color also. He wants it in blue with the black soft top, which can be taken off and, and done everything with. It's a spare tire in the back because it looks cool. And he basically wants this ride height. So, at the, let's start with the interior. Uh, let me get the camera adjusted just in a sec. Here we go. There we go. At the front, you get two, a, uh, a pair of headlights, a pair of turn signals, a bumper, uh, two, a pair of window wipers, also a pair of windshield, uh, not windshield wipers, um, uh, mirrors, a, um, I'm losing my words, guys. Like every video, I'm losing my words. Like every video, you get a uh, light bar. Okay, I got it. You get a light bar, uh, and our family we call this a collapsed sun because it really it's really bright. If for, if it was real, it would be really bright. These window wipers do function. Uh, if we move to the side, the right side specifically. You get some nice doors, you get some railing on the bottom for the people to step up. Uh, you'll see up here, I'll show you that later, especially with the rubber band. Um, that's pretty nice. In the back, you get a pair of brake lights, which can be used as turn signals and reverse lights. You get a hitch, I'm not sure if you... Okay, so you get a hitch, you get two exhaust pipes. I'm not sure if you guys can see that well. Okay, a hitch, two exhaust pipes, um, a spare wheel. And that's about it in the back. And a license plate right here. Let's see if that's better. No, not much. Okay. Uh, but on the left side, you it's basically the exact same as the right side. It has footstep right here. Uh, some doors which do open up. 
and I just ruined the door. Okay, so there is one problem. The doors won't cl close fully if the minifigs are not sitting in a specific position. So, I got it to work. I figured out how to make it so that they do fit. But it was a little challenging to get it to work. But without further ado, let's get into this mock right now. So, we just showed you the outside on the bottom, not much, just the chassis and that's about it. Uh, but, let's get the roof out. So, simply, all you do is you pull this back part right here, so that is released uh, from the actual body. You pull this up. And voila, you get your cool Lego, uh, Jeep, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, um, before I show you the Jeep though, I'm going to show you this, so this is the hard top, as I said, light bar with a roof rack, that's why the rubber, and the reason why the rubber band is here, is because I have this, this is an old Lego raft that was made in like 2005, when I was born, uh, so yeah. So that basically just sits on there just like that. Um, let's get it into position. So that is it on the roof. That's about it right there. And that just, this hardtop literally just sits on top of that roof. It is clipped in. But it's pretty nice that you get something with it. Also, you get a couple of oars with the, it's just these antenna pieces with a one by one cylinder or brick piece on it. That's all I have in there, and that just goes in the boat because I know they won't fly away unless you're like bouncing like crazy. But there's a rubber band trick on it. So it's pretty nice. Let's move that aside and let's look at this Jeep. So there are a few things you like. Uh, that's not how Jeep looks when it's going to roll. Well, that's why I have these pieces in the rear when you take off the hood. You get several pieces in the hood. As I said before, if you guys hear some uh, stuff, if you hear some noises in the background, that's just my family just talking. Because this is not a very soundproof house. But anyway, let's get into the review. So, with it, you get two 1x3 winged pieces, two 1x3 uh, plates, a uh, one, one by two, uh, plate, uh, tile, or brick, or plate, and you get two of these, you get, I don't know what you should really call them, they're kind of like a light bar, or like those, well, it's really confusing, I don't know what these are called, they're more like right angled rods, so I'll just call them that. I so I have two right angled rods. All the pieces are in black. Uh, so let's get building. So first, you'll take your one by two tile or plate, and you'll stick it right in the middle of the windshield. Then you'll take your one two one by three wing pieces, wing winged plates, and you'll stick them right beside that one by three. Or one by two. And then you're going to take your two one by threes and you'll stick them onto these one by one posts, which are across from, which is, are across from that one by two uh, pl uh, tile or plate. Then you'll take these uh, 90 degree rods and you'll stick them into these. Uh, Parts. It's just it just has uh, a pin inside of a brick, and that just makes them sit like that. And now you actually have a convertible jeep. And all these pieces do sit inside of the jeep back here in this little compartment. And you take off the roof. Everything does fit perfectly fine. So this is the jeep when it's in con it's in convertible mode. And known fact, this is proven that the Jeep is the cheapest convertible that you can ever buy. Most other 
convertibles cost like thirty, forty thousand dollars. The Jeep only costs twenty thousand dollars. A convertible version. That's pretty nice. Um, inside, as I said, four people. Uh, just some seats in there. In the front, you get a steering wheel. Not really many dials. You get a nice little kind of uh for the passenger side in the front seats. Uh, you get this kind of like. Well, it's not really a plate, and it's not really a dashboard either. Uh, it's kind. Of, it's not really a glove box either. I wouldn't really say that. It's not really a glove box. It's more just like a. It's kind of just like a desk inside of it. A really, really small desk. But yeah, so that worked. If so, it worked. Doesn't hurt to have it. It. It's perfectly fine. There is one more feature on this card that I would like to show you guys. If you guys, oops, that was not the feature. Not breaking, that's not a feature. If you guys pull this door out, or all the doors, and you pull it out, so you put, you pull it out of, you pull it out so the passenger can get out, and you pull it, the doors come off. Now, this, the credit goes to Alexander Studios for giving me the idea. Uh, he actually had the idea of making these types of doors, and because they're clipped in, so they can be taken out. So that's pretty nice. And the doors, uh, these are just a two by two sticking stick uh, stuck on top of a one by two uh, tri clip, and then uh, just a two by three on top of that. And these ones are basically the same thing. But the, the thing is just placed in a different spot, and this is opposite from that side. So all the doors can be taken off. I'm just going to pull off these two doors. And that's how it real cheap is. The doors can be taken off, which is a pretty, pretty neat thing about this Jeep. And I, I love this Jeep. If I could drive this, I would drive it all day. Well, not all day, because I have a motorhome, and I have a, uh, I have a sports car, and I have a truck, and uh, I'm just kidding, no. It, but that wouldn't happen, really, in many years, until I get squashed. Uh, so, that is it for that, the, basically the features of it. Let me just show you one more feature. The window wipers, they do move up and down to wipe the mirror. It's pretty nice. So, yeah, if you guys want to, what's it, put these back in, you simply take off all the parts from the roof. Don't break anyone's heads or faces. Uh, that goes there. Put in all the people that fell out. Grab all the pieces again. Uh, uh, pull out these pieces. And then this is how you do it. So, first you're going to take your 1x3 winged plates and you're going to stack them on each other so they kind of make like a U and V mix they're going to make that shape specifically and before you do that as well you're going to take your 1x2 pl uh, plate or tile and you're just going to stick it in the back it's kind of hard because if you, if some of you might know this, but like, some Lego parts cannot stay still. They have to like jump around and stuff. So, yeah. So then you're gonna take your one by three, two winged pieces stuck together, and you're gonna place them in the middle. And then you're gonna take your right angle rods, and you're gonna stick them right in this section right here. So. They're going to be, like, just like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your roof with your wrap. you got to be kidding me. We're not going to worry about it right now. So you're going to take your roof and your raft. You're going to straighten out your head, your rear, or your brake lights so they're, flat, so they're perpendicular or, yeah, perpendicular. Or, or parallel, basically. You're going to stick the roof just like that. You're going to push it in, and you're going to... Press down on the back. This might be a tricky thing to do. Trust me.
we're going to stick these plates in there, and then we're going to take your windshield. You're going to move it up a bit because it does slide back. You're going to place your side pieces in. If you guys hear really high-pitched voice, that's my sister. Yeah. Um, there it is. That goes in. And then you can take your rafts and you can, or your oars, and you can stick them in there. So, guys, that is my Lego Jeep block. Uh, if I haven't shown you guys enough, I will probably do another video of it, just to give you a little more detail. Um, but that's about it for this, guys. If you guys want to uh, see more of my videos, just type in my channel name, and you'll be down in basically the place. I'm not sure how to do everything in the description down below thing, so I can't always do that. But if you guys want to comment on what you guys want to see, do put it in the description down below. And if you guys want me to build as well as on my um, on my uh, Lego uh, house uh, mo uh, updated mock thing, uh, I said to put what you guys want me to do with the house down in the description down below. I said down twice. Um, so you guys can see your creations in any of my builds. If you guys want to, you can ask for what I should build and I will possibly try to build it. Uh, I have more mocks coming in. And so you guys, if you guys like the, like the video, please slap that like button. If, and if you guys like the channel and all the videos I'm doing, please subscribe. That would help me with the YouTubers and YouTube, YouTubers like me and them around me. Uh, that didn't really make any sense, so let me rephrase it. It would help me and the YouTubers around me make more sense. Yes. Uh, so guys, this is Jacob, uh, the Lego Master, signing off, and I will be back with more mocks and reviews. See you guys in the next video.